If you have watched any of our other videos, you will notice now that our background is looking a little bit different. And that is because we're gonna be setting up the DB Power Mini Portable Projector. So what you get with this projector is a remote that takes two AAA batteries and those are not provided. You get your power cable, RCA cable, and you also get an HDMI cable. So I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to get this projector set up, and I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to use the projector. Use the top of the projector, it only has three buttons, so that makes it super simple. All you have is your F minus, your F plus, which is gonna be your focus buttons once you have the projector on, and you have your power button. On the back, you have an audio port. That is so you can connect different speakers or a sound bar to make the audio a little bit louder. This does have a built-in speaker in the projector. However, like I said, if you do want it a little bit louder, you do have that choice. Next, you have your HDMI port so you can connect it to other devices or a fire stick, which I'm gonna be showing you here shortly. And then you also have two USB ports and then you have where your power cord is going to go. So we're gonna go ahead, get this plugged in and get it set up. So once you have your projector powered on and set up where you want it, the first thing you want to do is get it focused in. You're going to do that by either using the buttons on the projector itself, like we talked about beforehand, the F- and the F+, or focus it from the F+, and the F- on your remote. The next thing you want to do is get into your settings and go into your keystone corrections. You cannot do this from the projector itself. You do need to use the remote for this part and your keystone correction is going to be found in these four squares here and at the very bottom. And then you're just going to adjust it to wherever you would like and whatever angle looks best to you. So all these options that you see here are your options depending on how you are using your projector. So if you had a USB in, you would use the media option. Source is going to be for your HDMI or a fire stick and then you have AirPlay and Miracast. AirPlay is going to be for your Apple products, so you can screen mirror from your phone or iPad onto the projector. And then Miracast is going to be for your Android devices, so you can screen mirror off of your Android phone onto the projector. And I'm gonna be showing you how to Miracast from an Android, and I'm also gonna show you how to connect via Fire Stick. Before I show you how to do that, I do wanna tell you that in my opinion, I think that connecting via Fire Stick or HDMI gives this the best quality rather than Miracast. I haven't tried the USB option because I don't have anything on a USB to go onto the projector. However, just from using the Fire Stick and Miracast and comparing them, I have found that I do like the HDMI setting more. So first, we're gonna go into Miracast. Once you click on Miracast, it will pop up with your settings and I will show you how to get connected to that. So from an Android device, you want to go into your settings and then on my phone, it's going to be in connected devices under smart view. And then the DB power Miracast that pops up is the projector that you want to choose. So click on that. And then once it connects, everything on your phone screen is going to mirror onto the projector. This is the two-pack of UV lights by Dark Dawn, and these really are a nice set of UV lights. So what a UV light is, is ultraviolet radiation. So that there, the quality isn't horrible, but it's not as clear as I would like it to be. And that is even with the highest picture quality setting on the phone. So like I said, not as clear as I would like it to be. So I'm gonna show you what that difference looks like with the HDMI or a Fire Stick. So if you're gonna be hooking up a Fire Stick like I am, you need to go into your settings and get connected to your Wi-Fi. That is going to be right here. Go to network information, scan, and then your Wi-Fi should pop up. You're going to choose yours and put in the Wi-Fi password and connect. Like I mentioned before, if you are wanting the sound to be a little bit louder, if you are watching a movie, you can actually connect to Bluetooth and it will connect to any Bluetooth speaker or AirPods, Bluetooth headphones, anything like that. However, it will not connect to phones and devices like that. So once you're connected to your Wi-Fi, you will know by your Wi-Fi symbol here and then you are ready to connect your Fire Stick the same way you would in the back of a TV. So once you have your Fire Stick connected or your HDMI cable connected, 
you want to click on source and if everything is connected properly, then whatever you have plugged in will display on the screen. However, if it is not, you'll just have a blue screen and it will say no signal. So after that, you don't need the projector remote. You can use your fire stick remote and it will work just like it would on your TV. pack of UV lights by Dark Dawn and these really are a nice set of UV lights. So what a UV light is is ultraviolet radiation which essentially illuminates things in the dark that you may not have been able to see with your naked eye or with just a regular flashlight. All right so obviously that is the same video just connected through the fire stick and in my opinion I do think there is a slight difference in the quality and I do think that the fire stick quality or HDMI quality is a little bit better than using mirror cast. Now now, one thing I will add is I have not tried Miracast from a computer or other device, so the quality just could be on my part using a phone. Like I said, I have not tested that out. So all in all, this is a nice little projector. I like that it's small enough that you can take traveling with you or maybe camping if you want to have an outdoor movie night. This projector is going to work out great for that. So I have received this one at no charge for the purpose of this review. And after using this and getting it figured out, I do really think that this is a nice quality portable mini projector.